We are at Dugshaw Stadium and so happy to be here with two of our CCU graduates who are also coaches for the Myrtle Beach Seahawks girls soccer team. We're surrounded by girls. They're actually working right now. And so we're so happy to be here with Mary Jo Hajak. She's the head coach and also Laura Weiler Stevens, who is the assistant coach. Thanks for having us out here. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> We're hearing great things about you, so we came out to see what you're doing. And so I want you to first kind of set the set stage and tell us about your time at Coastal when you graduated. We'll start with you, Mary Jo. Um, I started at Coastal in 2001, and I graduated in 2004 with a psychology degree. And then I loved it so much, I came back in 2005 and graduated again in 2007 with a physical education degree. That's great, applying that every day of your life. And you also kept going in your education. I did. I um, got a master's from the University of Akron in Ohio um, in sports science. Wonderful. And you're not from here, no. so you came back here yes. to apply what you've learned in your education. And Laura, you graduated in 2007. Tell us about your time. Well, I graduated with a degree in sociology with a minor in psych, and I was also a member of the women's soccer team. So did you invite Laura to come work with you? How did that work? Um, I don't know if I'd say invite more than <laughs> uh, begged her to come help me. <laughs> um, after, they, after I got the job as the head coach, I went directly to her and said, um, you want to be my assistant? Because I'm going to need your help. So. Love it. And it was a no-brainer for me. I, I mean, I, I knew we balanced each other out even personality-wise, and then um, I just I couldn't wait to even just get back into coaching. Well, we do have the girls behind us. They're working a little bit, working out, I guess you'd say. What do you love most about doing what you do every day with the coaching? For me, I really like building the relationships, like with the girls, um, like just hearing what they're going through, even during the day, and then also helping them to then refocus when they get out here and just let all that other stuff like not think about it and then just come out and and do what you love and you're a parent too so you probably are paying close attention to what they're going through yes yeah, so that I can <laughs> so that I know when my kids get into that age like the things that I need to be thinking about and parenting so and Mary Jo you're a teacher also at Myrtle Beach Primary School you're teaching phys ed there what are you what what make the connection for us what it's like doing both um, I mean I enjoy the teaching part of of my career um, just as much as this this I come out here and it gives me a break you know from the little kids and I can come and and you know associate with these kids and these girls and kind of pass on what I've learned through my um, athletic career and, and all that onto them. And then, you know, you're, you are exposed to these young people who are trying to make it in the world already. You know, they, they're going to head, many of them will head to a university, a college experience. What's your advice for them? I, what I loved about Coastal and what I tell my girls when they're asking, where should I go? Should I go to a big university or a small university? I just, I love the size of Coastal. I was able to build connections and relationships even with my professors to where um, like even the girls that they want to go on to grad school you're going to it's going to be easy to ask your professor for a recommendation for grad school because they're going to know you you're not a number and at those big universities you are a number they're not going to know you so it's a good size school and it's one of the things coastal is known for mm -hmm. is that faculty student relationship and I still have relationships with my professors. I mean, I have a few professors down the road from me that one of them babysits my kids sometimes. Like, it, it, it's awesome. That is great. Mm -hmm. And Mary Jo, what about you? Um, my advice would be to pick a university where they have your major or what you would like to do with your life. Um, you know, don't just go there because your friends are going there. Don't just go there because that's where you're expected to go. Um, and also to make sure that you're comfortable in that environment. Um, I mean, after the minute I stepped on Coastal's campus to visit, my dad knew I was going there. It just, it was comfortable and, and it probably was the size as well. It was a lot smaller back then, um, but I just had that, I just felt comfortable there. So I knew that that's where I was gonna go. So. Well, we love that you're both here in the Myrtle Beach area, close to home at CCU, and we thank you for what you're doing for the young people today, both in primary school as a, as a mom as well, and of course with the Seahawks, I say ladies, but girls soccer team. <laughs> Thanks so much for being with us. Oh, thank Thanks. you.
Yeah.